They got matching tattoos together. They had their first kiss in front of a wall covered in pro-democracy graffiti in Hong Kong. And just four days before they were to be married, to spend their entire lives together, they were imprisoned. Arrested at one of the city's many protests last July and faced up to 10 years apart. Elaine To and Henry Tong were charged with rioting and faced up to 10 years in prison until now. Whilst awaiting trial, 42-year-old gym instructor Elaine said she was nervous but didn't regret taking part in the demonstrations. It's my responsibility to speak out for injustice and for the future. When I look back at my life, what made me proud? I really think that even though I was arrested, I'm still proud. I don't regret standing up. I'm scared of being jailed, but I don't regret it. <laughs> Preparing for the worst, they still went through with their wedding, but were prepared for no guests to show up, as they had already received online threats. But to their surprise, dozens turned out. Some of our friends were worried about online bullying after they attended our wedding ceremony, but they still came. It really showcased the love of Hong Kongers. Their biggest fear was that they both may never see their dogs again, let alone the prospect of being put behind bars themselves in separate cells. So they had their wedding rings tattooed. It means together forever. If you want to wash away the tattoo, you need to go through a lot of pain. It's very similar to the meaning of marriage. Henry tried to comfort his wife, but tensions were high. Their case had been delayed by the pandemic, and the verdict was to be handed down just weeks after China imposed a new national security law on Hong Kong. The couple insisted they were providing first aid to those who were tear-gassed and pleaded not guilty. And on Friday, they breathed a sigh of relief. They were acquitted of the rioting charge. While overwhelmed with the verdict, Henry paused outside the court to mention others still waiting justice. More than 9,000 people have been arrested during the protests. We're not going to celebrate because there are a lot of people who haven't been given justice and we want to celebrate together when everyone has received justice. For now, the couple are continuing their dreams, they're back working out and running a gym they are proud of and treasuring walks with their three adopted dogs.